What is going on guys, this is Jim from The Cali Boss, welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video I want to give you a quick update on my North Brazilian Boar Constrictor Constrictors. I showed you these animals about a year ago, I think it was May last year, and the animals have grown a little bit, they put on some more weight and they uh, definitely developed in coloration. Um, this is the female, she was produced in 2018. The uh, North Brazilian animals I keep are from the Eugene Bassett bloodline. This bloodline is known to be a little bit smaller than you know your average true red tail ball constrictor. As you can see this animal has gone on four years and she still has a really manageable size and I don't handle her too often so I'll try to you know not stress her out too much. As you can see her body tone is really muscular. She's a really strong snake for her size. Um, I think she has the ideal body shape of a ball constrictor. Really, you know, square shaped, uh, you know, a little bit, you know, higher in, in terms of body than, you know, width. So that's, that's really nice. And, you know, her head has grown a lot too. I'll try to show you if she lets me. Uh, you know, she has this typical constrictor, constrictor head, a little bit longer than your imperators. And then uh, the North Brazilians, especially this bloodline, doesn't have this, uh, you know, huge red tail. They have a, you know, shorter, you know, kind of stumpy little tail. She got a lot of pinks on the sides. I hope the camera can pick it up a little bit. Um, these uh, North Brazilians really color up after the third and fourth year. So I'm sure she's gonna get some more of that yellow creamy uh, coloration, but she's, she's really developed nicely. I hope that this animal is breeding for me in the future. Uh, she's gonna need two more years or so until I will attempt uh, a breeding trial. And if you see the male later, the female definitely stands out by her, you know, kind of dirty speckled look that I really enjoy in these North Brazilians, especially these you know, peaked saddles um, with the speckling going on, the pinks in the sides and the, the yellow coloration overall really make them one of my favorite localities and they are really fun to work with. They are a little bit tricky in the beginning, so if you get a baby North Brazilian ball, make sure you not overfeed the animal because they really tend to regurgitate. So she's grown up really nice, you feed her every three weeks at the moment. Uh, I gave her a little bit of a food break during the colder season for about two months where I didn't feed this animal at all and now the, the temperatures are raising up again and I raised the, you know, the light cycling. I start to feed this girl a little bit more but I want to simulate the rain and dry season and I kind of do that with, with my feeding schedule. I kind of adapt my feeding schedule to that, to those seasons to hopefully stimulate this girl to breed in two years. And as you can see, she's, she's doing well, so she's not underweight. I think she has a nice size, really manageable size. So if you look for a constrictor that doesn't get that big, you might want to look into the North Brazilian stuff. And these are the first BCCs I've capped, and I hope that I will have a litter of these in the future. I always think it's nice to show you how these balls turn out, not just see them as babies or as adults. Even the, you know, the phases in between are interesting. Especially if you raise them up, it takes a long time and it's just it just makes you happy to see your animal after four years, you know, to develop to a nice snake, not just like a, a small tiny boa. She's she's you know holding on tight to me. She's got a, a good grip. And I'll put her back now and I'll show you the male in a second. This is the male, he's also from 2018. He's a little bit smaller than the female. If you look at his coloration, he's a little more creamy yellow than the female even. He has less of speckling, he, his saddles are slightly less peaked, but he has an overall really interesting look compared to my other BCCs. Even though the tails in these North Brazilians, as I've mentioned before, aren't as long and red as, you know, your Surinams or something, but I still think they're really amazing snakes. I think he's a little bit slimmer than the female and a little bit shorter, but just slightly. And you can tell that these animals are starting, you know, getting a little bit more heavy body, whereas they grow in length more in the first three years or so. And now they're kind of, you know, getting their, you know, adult weight. I think they need at least two more years to be fully mature. But, you know, the male already starts, you know, during the spring seasons, late, late winter, 
he starts to be a little bit more active. I assume he's starting to get into breeding mode and while I don't feed him during the winter, at least I don't feed him as much, I think that also stimulates them and I hope that he's going to be a, a good breeder in the future, make some more of these nice balls available. Uh, if you are looking for North Brazilian boss, they got pretty rare in captivity, at least the pure ones. Uh, this Eugene Bassett bloodline was further reproduced by Ben Russo. He also reproduced the parents of this pair. But um, I see him here and there ever so often. So if you look strong enough and if you're patient, then you might want to find some. And if you come across some, make sure to grab a pair because these are really fun boss. Uh, they're really manageable. They become very dorsal, as you can see, this boar is really not hesitant, he's not head shy or anything. Um, even though I don't handle him as much, I do handle him if I need to. But I don't overdo it on the handling, I just want my boss to be tame enough, so that when I have to clean up the cage or take him to the vet or show him to someone, that they don't strike at me immediately, that's that's basically my goal when I, when I, when I raise him up. But yeah, these boars are really fun, I enjoy them a lot. And I think they've got, they're a pretty underrated locality. I think they're going to make a comeback and people are going to want some North Brazilian ones because as of now, most of the bloodlines of True Rectile Boss become really large. I mean, like eight foot or, or plus. I mean, there's some Pokegrons that aren't as big, but overall they can get pretty large. And I think a medium sized boa that's a True Rectile boa, you know, an established line like the the set bloodline. I think those are really cool animals and I hope that they're gonna make a, a comeback and I hope more people are gonna try and breed and reproduce these and make them available. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel, leave me a thumbs up and leave a comment, share the video, all that good stuff. Also follow me on Instagram where I post more frequently and give you a little bit of a you know insight in my keeping and you know my daily routine with my boss so make sure you don't miss out on that. The link's below. And the last video I did about a year ago is also linked below if you want to check that out again. It's a little bit more detail on the North Brazilians. This is more of an update video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one.